The NJ, SLS, VPA were updated in 2020 with new standards focusing on the importance of museums and galleries. As a visual arts teacher, I have experienced that most individuals' preconceptions of art education includes just teaching, painting, and drawing. Now with an emphasis on how museums and galleries operate on the day-to-day, -day, as well as the importance of curators and art historians, I have developed a lesson to reflect these new standards. In this fourth grade unit I created for my final project in the field experience course at Ramapo College, students will be exploring in depth what an art historian does and how they are important to art museums, galleries, and the art community. Students will be exploring about art historians and in turn becoming one. Once they have a deep understanding of what art historians do, they will be holding an art lecture followed by an art auction. Students will be immersed in the experience of an art historian. They will start off with content exploration through a variety of collaborative research projects. After, they will get to meet an art historian through Zoom to discuss questions. From there, students will be analyzing artwork in different galleries across the world where they pick one further to examine. Once their analysis is complete, students will present their findings in the form of a lecture. As a closing activity, students will then be holding an art auction to demonstrate understanding of the newly learned content. Pedagogically speaking, this lesson covers several strands of the art curriculum. Students will be exploring visual arts anchored standards in performing, presenting, producing, responding, and connecting. Students will be exploring art pedagogy from real world scenarios and individuals from outside of the classroom. These skills will transverse into other subjects and allow students to think critically, not only in art, but in life. Throughout this project, students will be using online tools, technology found in the classroom, and traditional research avenues. To start off, students will be using Google Workspace to submit shared documents specifically Google Docs, Slides, and Forms. Students will also be introduced to Wakelet and how to compile targeted information for assignments. Students have lived on Zoom during the pandemic, but this technology has now given new meaning to incorporating outside resources into the classroom. Students will be able to have live Q&As with an art historian. From there, students will have the opportunity to explore museums around the world powered by Google Maps and museum websites. Through scaffolding and differentiation, students will be given the option to present their work live or on Flip, a user-friendly video production website, formerly known as Flipgrid. To conclude, students will be holding an art auction where technology is incorporated in the viewing and bidding of the artwork. This unit focuses on brain research throughout the lessons. Students will be performing tasks that apply to all levels of Bloom's taxonomy. During the remember stage, students will be recalling the information they have researched about an art historian. They will show their understanding of this information when they develop questions for that art historian. Once they complete those tasks, they will be applying what they learned to their research of an artwork. During their research, they will be analyzing the artwork. Through the art auction, students will evaluate the worth of art based on all the knowledge that they have received. Finally, students will be creating a lecture that can be shared locally as well as in the art community. SAMR is also present in this lesson. Students substitute the traditional research to incorporating Google Workspace into their documentation. Technology is directly substituting handwritten notes with typed documents. During the augmentation stage, students will be using Google Slides to collage digital images. The functional improvement here is that students are able to move around their digital images and have access to more content. 
students can explore their collages and change the content easily. Modifications occur throughout the project, but a major one deals with the presentation. Students have the option of presenting their information live in front of their class or pre-record it. This redesigns the task by allowing the students to work at their comfort level and really present the information to their best ability. And finally, redefinition occurs when the students are on their self-guided tours. The technology gives students access to museums around the world. Students can travel from one country to the next with a click of the button and even drop themselves in the center of the art exhibition. This would not be possible without technology and it truly gives the students the opportunity to travel the world. More information about brain research, how technology is being used, standards, and content knowledge such as objectives, modifications for ELL students, and differentiation can be found on the teacher resource page. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to reach out to me. My contact information is at the bottom of all pages and my email address is smenchise.mset at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.